Welcome to Forces on Lower Arm Practice Problem. In this practice problem, we will play around with forces on the lower arm. Here we have a basic drawing of the lower arm with the radius and the ulna. One muscle was drawn to represent the muscle action pulling on the lower arm. We want to solve for the muscle tension and the joint reaction force at the elbow. Let's start by labeling the sketch. We will label the origin point O, which is the center of rotation of the elbow, the attachment point A, the center of the mass for the lower arm point B, and the center of mass for the hand C, assuming the hand is holding something. We will include a simple Cartesian coordinate system. Then label the forces. The force at O is the joint reaction force. At A, we have the muscle tension force. At B, we have the weight of the lower arm and at C, we have the weight of the hand. We can now draw a free body diagram. In the diagram, we will include the points O, A, B, and C in their respective locations. Then, we will draw the forces at their points. We have the joint reaction force, the muscle tension force, and the two weights of the arm and of the hand at their center of masses. What we are now missing from the diagram is the distance between these forces. We can assume these distances are little a, little b, and little c. a would be around 4 centimeters, b around 15 centimeters, and c around 35 centimeters. For completion, let's assume some average values for the weights, 20 newtons for the lower arm weight, wa, and 80 newtons for the hand weight, wh. We are now ready to write down our balance equations. The system is in 2D, so we will have three balance equations. The sum of forces along X equals zero, the sum of forces along Y equals zero, and the sum of moments about O equals zero. Notice how I am taking the moment about point O, which is at the joint. In theory, you could take it about any point, but taking it about O makes more intuitive sense given our physiology. Since we don't have any forces along x, we won't be using that equation. We are left with two equations, which is just perfect since we have two unknowns. Being mindful of signs for the forces, the second equation with the vertical forces will be Fm minus Fj plus Wa plus Wh equals zero. The third equation will have the moment balance with forces times moment arms. We will have negative fj times 0, which is just 0, plus fm times a, minus wa times b, minus wh times c, equals 0. Notice that I chose my signs such that upward forces will give me positive moments, and downward forces will give me negative moments. You can choose it the other way around and get the same answers. Now it is just a matter of solving the system of equations. Make sure that the units all match, so we will have to convert the distances from centimeters to meters. Then you can solve the system of equations for the joint reaction force. Please feel free to pause the video to read through or follow the calculations. The answer turns out to be 675 newtons for Fj. You can then plug in the value from the joint reaction force into equation two and solve for the muscle tension. The muscle tension turns out to equal 775 newtons. Notice how the muscle tension force was so much higher than the weight of the object in the hand, almost 10 times that weight. This happens because the muscle is attached so close to the joint it ends up having to pull much harder to lift the arm when you have a heavy object in your hands. You could wonder, well, how come we, the muscle, can't just attach farther down the arm so that it doesn't have to pull that hard? The thing is, if we did that, we would lose a lot of our mobility and end up with a very limited range of motion. Notice also how we really simplified our anatomy and physiology here. We had to disregard elbow flexors such as the brachialis and the radiobrachialis muscles to make this problem statically determinate and solvable. The synovial fluid in the elbow joint then helped spread the forces over a larger area for the pressures throughout the joint. 
This actually helps us disregard a lot of physiological details. All right, see you next time.